here for my November finish whip and haul update. I hope everybody had a great month and a great Thanksgiving if you're in the U.S. and you celebrate. I really can't believe it's almost December already. It's just on Tuesday and I'm recording this on Saturday. So it's only a couple days away so I figured I'll go ahead and show you my whips, finishes, and my haul. Uh, I didn't get a lot of stitching done this month that I can show you. A couple things I were working was working on were gifts, so I can't show them to you because they don't get them till next month. But I will go ahead and show them to you, what I can to you now. First thing I, uh, my first FFO is the Dress Up Alice by Brooks Books Publishing that I stitched for Amanda, and here it is. I found this little frame at um, Target. It was on clearance. I thought it was really cute. I actually bought it for another project, but it didn't wind up working out for that. But it worked great for this. I'll bring the stitching closer. I didn't really like this little um, flower thing. It's not going to focus, of course. Um, it, uh, uh, I didn't like it. It was a pain in my butt. So I got that finished, and I'll send that to her for Christmas, along with a couple of other things I have for her. This next thing I got is a kit I got at my LNS. It is a Mill Hill kit. It is the Snow Crystal Ice Crystal ornament. It's the first ornament I've ever stitched. It's the first Mill Hill kit I'd ever stitched. It was the first time I'd ever stitched on perforated paper. I really enjoyed it. Uh, I got it. Well, I guess there was a store somewhere that closed and my LNS bought a lot of their stock and had it all 40% off. So why not? I bought a bunch of stuff, which you'll see later. Uh, my next finish is not an FFO, but I stitched it for my sister Kayla for Christmas. It is the, it's by JSI Designs. It's called Floral Alphabet. They have all of the letters. It's in black work. This is stitched on 32 count linen from Hand Dyed Fabrics by Stephanie and Highland Heather. I love this fabric. I'm going to talk a little bit more about this fabric later. But um, I really enjoyed this design. I had some trouble picking what colors I was going to do it in. I originally was going to do it in all in the gold that you see there in the flower. Or I was going to do it in the teal. I didn't really want to do it in black. But black is the only thing that showed up on this fabric really, really well. So I decided to do the gold for the flower and the teal for the background. I added beads to it. I'm really pleased with how it turned out. And her, um, her bedroom is all bright purples and teals. So I'm hoping that she'll like that and hang it in her room. That is all I have for finishes. Like I t said before, I did a couple of other things this month, but I can't show them to you for that are for Christmas gifts, and they don't get them till next month, so I can't show them here. I might upload a video, add it into my next video of what those things are, or I know that the person that they are for does video, so I'm not sure if she'll show them, but I'll show them to you one way or another. Uh, next up is my whips. I only have two whips that I can show you that I've worked on this month. The first thing is the A Very Merry Christmas Town by Frosted Pumpkin Stitchery. Um, I worked on clue three. Let's see if I can get it. Worked on clue three a little, mainly this week after I finished another project. I really wanted to get this done by Christmas. Uh, this is on 28 count linen from Picture This Plus in I want to say Arctic is what I want to say it's in. Um, it's really pretty. It's one of their um, crystals. has um, what you know one of those glitter opalescent cards in it. Next thing I worked on I actually brought Elsa back out of retirement. I'm not going to take her out of her Q-snap because I find that whenever I take her out of her Q-snap I stop working on her for like two months but I um, worked on the background for her a little this month. Sorry all of my park threads are in the way. So the middle of her head is about the halfway point. The Q-snap is covering some of the fabric over here, but you can tell how much I have left to do. It's about probably three-fourths of the background left to finish. Um, but like I said, I can't take her out of her Q-snap. If I take her out of her Q-snap, I stop working on her, and she'll never get done that way. Um, but that's, that's all I have stitching-wise to show you. Um, I'm hoping to get more stuff done in December. I was hoping to get more Christmas presents done. Doesn't Just doesn't look like it's going to happen. I don't really feel like working on the things that I said I was going to make for Christmas presents, so they're kind of being left for next year. Um, but I do have quite a bit of haul to show you. Like I said, my LNS uh, bought the stock of a store that was closing. I don't know if it was nearby or not, uh, but they had a lot of stuff 40% off, so I made several trips to my store 
and so you'll see. But the first things I'm going to show you are some needle minders that I got and one that I made because they're so small. I don't want them to get lost in this huge pile. This first one I actually made. I am a huge Downton Abbey fan. So I made this little one. Of course it doesn't want to focus. I'll try to insert a picture of it. Um, it's just the, the Abbey. It's a pin. I bought it on, um, from PBS and then I just took the pin off the back and glued magnets onto it. Now it's a needle minder, but I really love Downton Abbey. And so I was really excited to make that cause I'm a dork. Next ones I bought are from, um, Cassie's needle miners, needle miners by Cassie. She was doing a couple sales on her Facebook group. And so I bought these two cute little reindeers. There's just a little boy one, and of course he wants to have a glare on him, and not focus, of course. Eh, you can't really see him. But then there's a little girl one. Oh, you can see her better. She's showing up. They are super sparkly, and they're adorable. <laughs> and so, um, this little guy, the little boy, he lives on my Very Merry Christmas Town one. And the little girl, she was living on, um... I think she was on my sister's project, so I really like having a different needle minder for every project, and so I have a ton of them. I actually have one of those, um, I call them octopus lamps. They have the six arms, so they're not really octopus, but um, it's metal, so all of my needle minders are there. I have a bunch of magnets there that hold my scissors, and all my, um, my needle threader has a magnet on the back, so that's where all of those lives, right next to me. Um, so when I bought... The ice crystal, this little design, which is that ornament I showed you. I bought another one, which is the star crystal. And then after I stitched the ice crystal, I love them so much, but my LNS, of course, didn't have any more. So I went on, sorry, something fell. I went on one, two, three stitch and bought the rest of the series, which is the sapphire crystal, which you can't see, the aqua crystal, the amethyst crystal, and the gold crystal. And I was gonna try to stitch those up for Christmas presents for my coworkers, but I just don't have the time. I don't feel the, uh, I don't feel the desire to stitch on them right now. So I'm not going to. Uh, sorry, I found another small things. Um, there was a fundraiser auction going on on Instagram. It was Angels for Austin. And so I got these little pair of purple stork scissors. You can't really see them. And those were really cute and it was for a good cause so I bought those and they live on the lamp next to my with my needle miners um, back to things that I got from my LNS I got two other mill kits I got the Christmas letter kit and the tiny treasure diamond beaded kit these look like little tiny pin cushion hanging pin cushions ornament type of things and of course it doesn't want to doesn't want to focus it wants to have a glare as per usual but it's really cute it's purples and teals because i guess i took a break from blues this year this month now i've been buying purple and teal uh next two things that i got are uh, also mill hill kits they are the holiday treasured sampler kits one is golden crystal I'll try to insert pictures of these and then the other one is treasure tea tapestry there you go those are cute and um, like I said Christmas is my favorite holiday so anytime I can stitch anything Christmas and actually get around to stitching it I'm happy uh, the next thing is by a little kit by Brooks Books Publishing like I said after I stitched the dress up Alice I'm really excited to try some more for patterns this one is a baby sampler uh, my uncle's second son is due in January and so I found this baby boy sunshine line birth record kit and that is just too cute all of the little things they're stitched individually you can't you can't really see it but there's little it's a little clothesline and there's actually little tiny clothespins so you stitch everything individually on perforated paper and then stick it all on there that is freaking adorable 
I can't wait to stitch that for him. His name's going to be Grant. And um, for the first baby, I made a baby. I knitted a baby blanket, but I, I don't have it in me to knit another baby blanket. It took forever. It was tedious. I can't do it again right now. So I decided I was just going to go ahead and stitch him up something. And there's technically a little blanket in it. <laughs> you stitch the name and the birthday. Cute. Okay, I have two more things to show you. One of them is going to take a while, so I'll go ahead and do this one next. This is the Joan Elliott's Cross Stitch Greetings Cards, 70 Stunning Designs for Every Occasion. Carolyn showed this on her her one of her videos recently. This is where she gets a lot of her, her card designs from. I can't really show too much into it because there's patterns everywhere, but I got that off of Amazon. I'm going to start stitching up some... Sorry, I keep looking in the viewfinder. Uh, keep, I want to stitch some greeting cards up, maybe for Christmas or for birthdays or stuff. So I went ahead and got that. Um, all right, so this next thing I'm going to show you, um, I've been really torn about showing you guys, but I really want to give it its due attention. I have a friend who, um, she stashes fabric like crazy, apparently. She was taught, we were talking, we were chatting recently, and she said, oh, I need to get rid of some of this fabric. I have way too much fabric. And I said, oh, really, I have the opposite problem. I never have fabric when I want to stitch. And she was like, well, I'm going to send you a rainbow. I'm just going to send you a rainbow of colors. And she sent me two huge bags full of hand-dyed fabrics. She's crazy. <laughs> she, the fabric that I stitched the K on, that came from this bunch. She sent me, it's a literal rainbow. It's just a rainbow. Uh, I'm gonna, I took a little video I posted on Instagram. I'm going to try to insert it here so you can see the range of colors. I lined them all up in the rainbow. I'm going to try to insert it here. Isn't that crazy? And they are. They're all hand dyed. They're by... Um, under the Sea Fabrics, there's hand dyed by Stephanie in here. That purple one was my absolute favorite out of the bunch, but my second favorite, if I had to pick a second favorite, is gonna be this one. Look at that. And this is, this is Under the Sea Fabrics. This is Nymph, 28 count linen opal. Isn't that gorgeous? That's just stupid pretty. Ugh. I can't stand it. I don't know what I'm going to stitch on all this fabric, but I'm going to... Mm, look at that one. Isn't that beautiful? That one is Seahorse Shores. They're gorgeous. And a lot of these are, um, I think they're fat eights. The, ugh, what's the measurement on them? 13 by 18 is that a fat eight. I just, I can't get over it. They're beautiful. I'm not going to show them all to you. But look at that red one. And that's an opal. Look at that. Oh, I can't believe it. So thank you so much. I'm not going to say her name because I don't, um, I haven't talked to her about getting her permission to say her name here in the video. So I'm not going to do that. But you know who you are and you are crazy. But thank you so much. I am going to get so much use out of this fabric. Yeah, so thank you so much. I definitely will be showing you updates whenever I stitch something on it and uh, know that it will definitely be used. Uh, that's all I have to show you. It's been a pretty slow month, so my battery is actually about to die on my camera. So I hope you guys had a great November. I hope you have a had a great Thanksgiving and have a great December, and I'll see you at the end of the year. Bye. Say hi. Her, of course, it's upside down. Oh. It, I got a little kit. Of course, it's not gonna. This video sucks!